my lovely friends. So right now I am leaving work and I'm heading to the Susan Dennard and Bridget Kemmerer book signing. I'm really excited. Susan Dennard's new book, Blood Witch, just came out. And I love her Blood Witch series. I haven't read anything by Bridget Kemmerer. I don't know where I'm going. Should know where I'm going. You also can't see me at all. It is 5.30 now. The event's at 7. It's going to take me 40 minutes to get there, so I will make it with parking and everything just on time for the event. The ladies said they have plenty of books, so I'm hoping that that means that I won't be like a hundredth in line. That would be great. I have a fully charged camera today, which is a big deal. I probably should have turned that on so long ago. Can you see me better now? Probably. So there will be no excuse for me to not vlog the event. And I'm super excited. So I will see you guys in a little bit. So I just got out of the signing. I am on my way home. I am starving. I just ate a banana. I have some fruit snacks. This is my sustenance until I get home. I purposely tried to not eat all of my lunch food at work today so that I would have snacks for uh, right now. Oh, 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 that is a popo. That is a popo. So the event was so much fun. I had such, am I going the right way? No. I want to go this way. They had such a good time. They did a Q&A and then they did the signing. I met Dylan from Twitter. If you are on book Twitter, you've probably seen Dylan. He is a Twitter tweeting maniac. I always see him on Twitter and I'm like, how are you always on Twitter? He used to be Dylan the reader, but I think it's now Dylan is tweeting. It's his Twitter handle. So I met him. He's super nice. I'm so hungry. He gave me his number. So I got to be number 17 in line as opposed to like number 59, which was so nice of him. Really, really appreciate that. So we talked for a little bit. They're frozen. That's cool. Well, it was very, very bizarre because I was just sitting there, hanging out on my phone, and all of a sudden he comes up and he was like, oh my God, are you Jordan? And I was like, yeah. And then I turned into, I turned into awkward Jordan. I am so shy in person. I do not do well with like small talk and interact with new people. So I hope I didn't, I hope I didn't come across as mean because sometimes I can come across as mean. I'm just really shy. So he like scared the crap out of me. And he's like, I take your picture. He was really nice about it. But I was like, yeah. And I could feel my face turning bright tomato red. And I was like, I am so incredibly embarrassed right now. I've never been recognized in public before, like granted I was at a book signing, but like I've never even been recognized at Book Net Fest or at BookCon or Book Expo. Whenever I've been to any of those things, I've never been recognized. 
I'm always with groups of people who are way more recognizable, and so I, like nobody ever comes up to me, and I was a little, very much taken off guard. But he was super sweet and very nice, and I look forward to hopefully seeing him at some other Chicago events in the future. I did not realize that Bridget, I've heard her name before, and I know I knew she wasn't a debut author, but I hadn't realized she had written so many other books. This was her ninth. That was a pothole. Ninth publication, which is crazy. I'm really excited to read it. I've heard nothing but great things about it online. And it seems to like be like being received really, really well. She's contracted for two books, she said. She has four in mind. I really hope that she's able to sell them all and can give us four books because that would just be so cool. And then I also learned that The Witchlands is no longer four books. I thought that Blood, which was the penultimate book, and then we'd have what I assume will be called Weaver Witch, which is not, you know, like a title that's been released, but I think the fourth book will be called Weaver Witch. Weaver Witch? Where is I going? Oh, so apparently the series is contracted for four plus books. She can't, she wasn't allowed to tell us how many, but it's the four original books plus Sight Witch and then some other books. And she kept saying that we had a lot coming and there was a lot of material in the future so I feel like this is going to be a really long series like possibly seven books which is crazy makes me so excited for Susan and so excited to keep reading more about the Wishlands because I just really like the Wishlands but I found something very interesting which she talked about during the Q&A that when she initially sold the series it was going to be Truth Witch, Wind Witch, Red Witch, and then Blood Witch is going to be the final book. He wrote the series in a way to where everything is very locked in. So like what she wrote in Truth Witch is all sprinkled in with the clues for the final book. Like it's very intentional. It's all very planned out and mapped out. And she said that was incredibly challenging. So apparently some country or publisher or something would never buy a book named Red Witch. So she had to like completely rework her plan, rework her story, had to make Blood Witch come first and then we'll get Azult's storyline after that. But originally it was the other way around. We were going to get Azult's story first. So she had to like completely rework the whole plot to still give us the plot clues but now from Aidwan's perspective instead of Azult's perspective and I think that's why it she made Azult character have some things that happened to her in uh, Wind Witch. I love going to signings and like learning about all the things that are going on behind the scenes with the books that you don't learn about anywhere else. Like I love hearing all the behind the scenes stories about how these books got published, or, like the road to publication or like all the different iterations of the stories. I just think it's so freaking cool. I will see you guys later. Well, as you can tell, I'm home now. I've been home for like an hour. Uh, Tony was gonna run out and get us something to eat, but he's been searching for his wallet now for an hour because he's one of those people who is constantly losing his wallet, his phone, and his keys. And if his head was not attached to his body, he would lose that as well. So while he throws a tantrum, because he can't find his wallet, I figured I would show you what I got from the signing today. I got a poster from The Witchlands called My Aether Guide My Blade. I think, yeah, it's a colored map of the Witchlands, which it's like very old world historic map looking. It's very pretty. I have this holographic postcard, which I think is super cool. I'm assuming it's Salt and Aid Wand. And I don't know if you can tell, but like there's threads, cause she's a thread witch. So like, I don't know. I think they're threads. I don't know. I haven't read the book yet. Probably a spoiler. Now let's look at my signed book. First one I got here is Truth Witch for Jordan, Susan Dennard. Next we have A Curse So Dark and Lonely by Bridget Kemmerer. Oh, and I have a little temporary tattoo from her. But for Jordan, Break the Curse. That is a lot of like loopy loops going on right there. So next we have Wind Witch for Jordan. Susan Dennard. And then the star of the show tonight, Blood Witch. It says, for Jordan, Lady Fate makes all men. Chase? Lady Fate makes all men 
some chest. Lady Fate makes all men something. <laughs> I don't know what it says. She was complaining that the Sharpie wasn't pointy enough, that it was a little too fat and it was making it difficult for her to write. Those are the four books that I got at the signing today. That was, again, very nice of Dylan for giving me his number so that I could be seen a little bit earlier. Yeah, I had a fantastic time tonight at the event. I'm really glad I went. I was kind of on the fence about it, but I'm really happy that I went. It was really good to hear Susan talk and to hear Bridget talk and to get to know a little bit more about Bridget's book because I have been interested in reading it and now I'm like even more excited to read it. So, and to support her, it's her ninth book and she just finally became a New York Times bestseller. So that's really exciting and I'm really happy for her. Here are the four. That almost took my face out. Hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, I'll talk to you very soon. I apparently need to go calm an angry human. So, bye.